Guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have some pretty epic stuff planned in this video with this buggy. I'm planning to take this thing to some proper Jeep trails. And unfortunately, I got a little bit of a late notice on this. So we only have two days to prepare this thing. In those two days, I'm going to have to make this thing much better. So the CVT system on this thing is actually mounted incorrectly. And that's causing a lot of the belt slippage, which is causing a loss of power. And we're also going to be messing with the weights. And hopefully this thing is going to be much faster. Got to install an oil catch can. But yeah, guys, I'm excited for this one. So be sure you guys stay tuned. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. But yeah, let's get right into the video. So first things first, these taillights kind of pissed me off. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are triggered by that. Just because the tail covers are missing, I'll never get those back. They were lost or thrown away. These lights were probably put on there for California regulations, but we don't live in California. So we're going to go ahead and ditch these lights. So I want to go ahead and explain something. So this drive pulley squeezes the belt as RPM increases. And what that causes is it rides this belt down into that pulley. But the problem is that the drive pulley contracts or squeezes together that way. And the driven pulley squeezes together that way. So what that causes is at high RPM, the belt misaligns. And it becomes almost 35 degrees. And that causes excessive heat, excessive wear on the belt and excessive slippage at high loads and high RPM. Now Go Power Sports sells the, these pulleys like this for convenience and so that they're a direct, pretty much a bolt-on part. Now it's not their fault at all, it's just I'm running a crazy power level and these huge tires, so I need to make sure to get the most out of the CVT. So if we get this issue fixed, we can possibly see a lot more power to the ground at higher RPMs. Now, one of my subscribers actually came up with a clever idea. Instead of flipping the driven pulley around, why don't you flip up the drive pulley around? And I was like, wow, that's a great idea. So we're gonna go ahead and attempt that, flip this pulley around, but we're gonna have to offset the engine further in So this is what I was getting at. Usually this round side would be right here. So yeah, this is going to be a little bit sketchy, but I think this is the best way of fixing the misalignment of the CVT. We're actually going to go ahead and pull off this driver and install different size weights in there. So if you guys watched the first test drive video, you'll know that I put lighter weights in here. The weights made it rev out way more and it made it sound much better, but I think it did make it a little bit slower. So the ones in here are 41 grams. These are 68 grams, I believe, and the stock ones were 81 grams. So we're going to go ahead and take this clutch apart and install the weights, the medium weights. So we got the engine out and as you can see it was spewing oil everywhere out of the crankcase breathers so we're going to go ahead and install a catch can later in this video but uh, what I'm actually going to do is offset the engine about one inch so we're going to cut new slots in about right there. So while our engine is out, we got some parts here. We got billet side covers. We got billet roller rockers. And then we also have higher RPM valve springs. These are rated for about 7,500 RPM, I believe. But we won't be installing these today. So we're just gonna install the side covers and the rockers. So we're going to have to scoot the driven pulley out about two to three inches. So that's going to put a lot of stress on those bearings. And we're probably going to have to brace up the end of the shaft. But for now, we're just going to add a third bearing support. And um, I think it should be fine.
All right, guys, so there you go. It is uh, welded. I'm not gonna weld it all the way just in case this doesn't work, but there you go. Actually, I am gonna weld it more. This is gonna be either really stupid, really dumb, or it's gonna work really well and break something. I don't know, we're gonna have to find out. So guys, we're actually gonna take this out just to hear how it sounds, because I've never really heard it without this thing. So I just wanna test out the CVT, see how it performs. So let's go ahead and give it a rip. thing seems like it has way better top end so I think that's a little bit too fried um, it's obviously on the lean side and with this engine I'd rather have it on the rear side just because it's air cooled and all that stuff we're gonna go for a little kind of just like a shakedown Wow guys, that was super exciting. I hope y'all enjoyed that. It's probably gonna be all the fun for today. Now flipping the CVT around and switching those weights, I felt like it had a lot more top end, but I'll see you back at the house. It got dark in us, but we're gonna go ahead and install a fire extinguisher. Um, you know, just in case, we're gonna install it about right there. We got the fire extinguisher installed, never hurts. So yeah guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm gonna be excited to finish this thing and take it to some really nice trails and then compare it to some really high dollar rigs like a Can-Am or a Polaris RZR. Follow me on Instagram at Vasily Builds for updates. 
But I have to see you in the next video. Stay tuned and peace.